Hello and welcome to Eclectic Classes. In our previous video titled What is a Load Cell? We have already studied what a load cell is and its type that is strain gauge load cell, pneumatic load cell and hydraulic load cell. In the current video, we will study about various types of strain gauge load cell. Strain gauge load cells are divided in three categories, beam, single point and canister type. These three can be further subdivided as per the mode of operation in four categories compressor or tension, bending, shear and ring torsion. This way finally we may end up with dozen types of load cells by combining load cell types by their construction and mode of operation. Bending beam load cell Bending beam load cells are quite widely used. In case of a beam load cell, when a load is applied, the body of the load cell flexes due to the elastic properties of the metal material used in its body. Due to this bending of the body, electrical resistance of the strain gauges fixed in the load cell changes, resulting in enabling us to measure the force applied. Bending beam load cells provide high strain levels even with low forces which makes bending beam load cell suitable for small load measurements. Bending beam load cells come in different shapes and sizes. Two of them are shown here which are parallelogram and S type shape. Sear beam load cells. These load cells look similar to bending beam load cells but are very different in working. In case of sear beam load cells, a recess is made on each side of the load cell as shown here in the diagram, which results in a thin vertical web in the center. With recess in its place, the cross-sectional appearance of the load cell will be similar to a structural I-beam. As with structural I-beam, the shear strain is focused in the thin vertical web. Strain gauges are then mounted on this thin web side surfaces at 45 degree angle to detect any strain on the load cell. Rest of the functioning is similar to any strain gauge load cell. These load cells exhibit excellent resistance to side forces. The shear beam load cells have become quite popular for medium and high load measurement. Shear beam load cells are not manufactured for low load measurement as it is difficult to make a sufficiently thin wave to obtain the necessary strain levels for low capacity load measurements. A single shear beam load cell is quite expensive and difficult to mount in case of high capacity load measurement and that is why high capacity load cells are usually based on dual shear webs in a beam configuration. Compression load cells. Compression load cells are designed to hold a load at one point to measure the compression in same. A compression load cell is placed beneath the object whose weight needs to be measured. As it's below the object, it gets compressed due to the weight of the object. Due to this compression, the strain gauges fixed in the load cell gets deformed, resulting in an electrical signal for load measurement. Advantages of compression load cells are they are quite compact and so suitable for applications where space is limited, suitable for even very high capacity loads. Tension load cell. These load cells measure the pulling or tension force. Tension load cells are often referred as S-type load cell due to their shape. In tension load cells, they have an upper and lower arm and are suited for suspended applications. 
some tension load cells can measure compression too. This feature of bidirectional sensitivity makes them very versatile. Single point load cell. Usually in case of load measurements, load needs to be applied precisely at a location. Any deviation from that in terms of off-center or off-axis loading results in error introduction. But single point load cells overcome this problem and due to their geometric design, they allow flexibility in getting accurate reading even if the load is applied off-center or off-axis or is unevenly distributed. Due to this reason, only they are most widely used in platform scales. Canister load cells. These load cells are named so due to its shape. As we know, a canister is nothing but a cylindrical container used for storage. The canister load cells resemble them in shape. These can be either a compression canister load cell or tension canister load cell. Ring torsion load cell. These load cells typically serve the range usually claimed by shear and bending beam load cells. In case of ring torsion load cell, the full bridge circuit strain gauges are bonded to a ring shaped part which will bend when load is applied. While bending, the ring diameter at the top decreases while same increases at the bottom. In this whole process, the electrical resistance changes which enable us in measurement of the load applied. This was all about the various types of load cells as per their shape and mode of operation. Do subscribe and hit the bell icon, like the video and tell me what you felt about the video in comment section. I'll be back soon. Bye for now.